rise today heartbroken and bone weary from the gun violence that continues to rock our country. Just this year alone, there have been 273 mass shootings, shootings with four or more victims. Every day we read of another child tragically lost. Our nation woke yesterday to the horrifying news of yet another mass shooting, this time in Las Vegas. It is once more now the worst shooting in our nation's history. This violence sears our heart and leaves countless families forever tragically changed. I extend my sincere condolences to all those who lost loved ones and send prayers of recovery to those wounded. Please know that the American people are grieving with you. And I'm incredibly grateful for the extraordinary professionalism and bravery of law enforcement and first responders during this attack. But our words and prayers are not sufficient for the people of Las Vegas or the other victims of daily gun violence across our country. We owe them more. We must come together to tackle this epidemic with action. Enough is enough. There is no one single solution to the gun violence now, nor are there any easy answers. But that must not stop us from making progress where we can. Incredibly, however, this body is set to consider rolling back some of the common sense re re regulations we already have in place for gun safety. It is inconceivable to me that this House is preparing to vote on legislation to weaken restrictions on the sale of silencers. Such sound suppressors make it more difficult for law enforcement officers to identify the point source of a weapon and to react to protect our public. Why are we considering a bill that makes firearms more deadly and make it more difficult for police to respond. But that's not all. There is also a proposal to weaken state concealed carry laws with national reciprocity. This dangerous legislation would undermine local safety laws and deny states their right to establish their own concealed carry safety standards. Requiring states to accept the concealed carry standards of every other state will effectively create a dangerous race to the bottom and leave the least restrictive state law as the effective national standard. Mr. Speaker, we should be debating and voting on proposals that can reduce gun violence in our communities. We must not allow the difficulty of the path ahead from preventing us from embracing solutions that move us in the right direction. Earlier this year, I introduced the Ghost Guns or Guns Bill with my colleague Congressman Espelot of New York. This bill will address the glaring loophole that allows gun buyers to bypass a background check by purchasing, purchasing their weapons as un lines. These kits can be delivered to anyone's doorsteps with all the parts needed to assemble a fully functioning, totally untraceable firearm. The Ghost Guns or Guns Act simply says that these weapons should be regulated like other firearms and require a background check like other firearms. More than 9 out of 10 Americans support background checks. This bill is a common, step, common sense step forward and I urge my colleagues to join me in seeking its passage. We also face a problem of stolen guns. Last year alone, more than 18,000 guns were lost or stolen from federal firearm dealers. Many of these stolen weapons were later used in violent crimes. That's why I introduced the Secure Firearm Storage Act to, requ to require all federal firearms licensees to securely store their inventory when not open for business. The Chicago Sun-Times said this bill was, quote, so obvious, obviously right, it's hard to believe that it's even necessary, end quote. I agree, and I invite my colleagues to join me in passing this bill as well. These are but two common sense ideas. I'm open to any and all ideas that make progress in reducing gun violence in our communities and helping make our communities safe. From universal background checks to making gun trafficking a federal crime to limiting access to high capacity magazines and military assault weapons. Enough is enough. We cannot allow this epidemic to, to continue. Together, we have the opportunity to save lives. I urge my colleagues to join me, and let's take this time to act. And I yield back. The gentleman